Tea time with Trav. Apparently, Timothy got into a fight right before he started shooting in the school. But my thing is, how did this boy get a gun into this high school? How did this boy even have possession of a gun? What's going on, y'all? It's AL Travel. I'm back, 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 baby, back. I'm back again. Y'all, today I have some New Orleans food. Well, it's, it's kind of New Orleans. Oh, I, don't, I don't even know, y'all. Well, so the name of it is Creole Orleans Catering. But I'm not sure if like jerk food is New Orleans. But this is, this is, oh shoot, I almost cursed. Um, I have a jerk chicken and shrimp combo. Then I have some mac and cheese. I have a side salad, which y'all know I'm probably not gonna eat too much of. That ain't really my thing. And then this is a crawfish like stew over rice. Looks really good. Y'all see that? Okay, let me say grace. Father God, I come to you today to ask you. Father God, I come to you today that ask that you watch over this food. Please let it be a nourishment to my body. Please let me digest this food properly. In your name I pray. Amen, amen. One more time. Amen. Alright. Let's dig on in. Oh, I'm going to get a, a shrimp and a, a chicken. And a chicken like it's a walking chicken or something. What's that? Probably not. Oh my God. Ooh. This is good. Mm -hmm. Better get back in this plate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to slid off this other thing. I'm going to start this up a little bit. Y'all know I love me some crawfish. It's good, y'all. Okay. Mac and cheese look a little cheesy. Why would they fall like that? Ooh. What am I supposed to do with this salad? The dressing on this salad is good, but y'all know I'm not really much of a salad fan. Some stuff just be too healthy. Too healthy, you know?
Mm-mm-mm. This is pretty tasty. Tea time with Trav. Y'all have to look up there to make sure that microphone is on. I was gonna be pissed. Um, mm. Prayers to the families of any student that was at the school in Texas where there was an active shooter. Um, let me pull up the, the guy's name because they actually released the um the suspect hold away the mini I thought I was finished do 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 what's his name so his name is Timothy Timothy George Simpkins he's an eighteen year old high school student and he went crazy in school. That that's literally how I'm I'm gonna sum it up. Um, it's just such a a sad moment. Like this, he's 18 and he just threw his life away. Now, um, video footage has been released or. At least I saw photos of the video, not the actual video. But apparently, what's the boy name again? Oh, there we go. Apparently, Timothy got into a fight right before he started shooting in the school. But my thing is, how did this boy get a gun into this high school? How did this boy even have possession of a gun? Yo, I'm not saying that fighting is cool. I'm not saying that fighting is right. But I remember growing up when we did have a problem with somebody, we used these. We didn't use this. But it's like all these people know is how to use a piece of metal. And it's like, for what? There's nothing that can make me angry enough to ruin my life. They said, um, I believe three people were injured. They haven't reported any deaths yet and God forbid they do. But that little boy is going to go to jail. He's going to prison, let me clarify that. He's going to prison for attempted murder um, endangerment of others, assault with a deadly weapon, um, possession of uh, unregistered or whatever they want to call the weapon. I don't know what type of the proper term is. But I'm about 99.999% sure he got that gun from someone else. But then it makes me think, what, what are people teaching these children to make them think it's okay to even touch a gun? Yo, I'm 29 and I've never even touched a gun. No. I would never.
Like, what the hell? I almost said something else. I forgot I'm on YouTube. I can't talk like that. But it, it just, it really sickens me. And it, it's, it's so sad to see where we are in the year 2021. A lot of people have no regard for human life. They will try to take someone's life in the blink of an eye. And I get it. I get it, y'all. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. I just I just think it, it's really sad. Um, now, we do have to talk about bullying. Um, when it comes to school. Mm. It's so good. Now, of course, we don't know if he was being bullied. We just see that there was a fight. But I guess my next question is where was security? Where was the teachers? Where was the assistant teacher? Where was anybody? If this fight happened, how did it lead to an act of shooting. I know when I was in high school, a fight broke out. Security's called to break it up. Or they were fine the first male teacher that could get there the fastest prior to security to help break it up. And people were separated. And then taken to the office. The dean's office. So how did he have time to get this gun? And if he had it on his body how was this not known it's sad to think that you would need metal detectors in a building full of children But have we not learned this incident, Sandy Hook? Have we not learned? This stuff is real. People do crazy stuff. No matter what caused it, it should have never happened. It should have never happened. Now you're going to have all these people who are traumatized. Adults and children. Because when he was shooting. Those bullets didn't have a name on them. Those bullets didn't have an age on them. Whoever was in the crossfire was getting hit. He may have had a target. He's 18. I highly doubt he has perfect aim. Anybody could have got hit. Oh, excuse me. Now all of these people are traumatized. That just scared the hell out of me. Over here talking about shooters. And the air that closed my door, that scared me. But, um, 
Yeah, I can imagine being in high school. Hell, I get paranoid now. Lord, that's oh, and mm. imagine being at work and you get a call, you get a call, you get a text, or you see on the news that the school that your child is at is currently in danger currently being attacked. The school is under attack. That's what it was. Now the parents are traumatized. This world that we're living in is crazy. Simply put, this world is crazy. This world is crazy. And the people in it are crazy. Here. Make sure y'all get right with God, y'all. Because when he's had enough, it's going to be the return of Jehovah. And he's going to show y'all why he is the almighty. I ain't even going to get too religious on y'all, but yeah, let me sign out before I get to going. <laughs> y'all, if you haven't already, check out the website. It's in the description box below. www.airtravel.com to get air sauce, air merch, air drip, all that. Hmm. What else? If you're not subscribed to the channel, it's right there. Right there. So you can notify each and notify notified each every time I'm dropping a video. But if you would like to stay connected with the air travel outside of YouTube, oh, excuse me, jump back into the description box, go down at the bottom, brr, boom, right there. There you go. Team social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, add me. Follow me, leave me a comment, 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 leave me a and catch me tonight on Bigo at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other than that, it's been real. Ayo Travis out.